What did I tell you? It looks pretty. Okay, I'm going to show you this physics trick. If you've seen these power balance bracelets, everyone wears them and they'll look at a little thing on there. I'm going to show you how those work. Yeah. Okay. Cool. So, step number one, this is what you do. Hold out your arms like this. Okay, that's good. Now, the first thing you want to do is if you want them to tip over, first do it on the side that they pick up their leg on. Push straight down on their arm and they fall over. Now, hold, try, you try to keep your arms straight. Oh. And he's going to fall over no matter what. Okay. Now, do it again. And I'm going to give you this magic, you got to have some magic thing. Magic thing. Magic thing. Okay. okay. This makes you balance. Hold that. Okay, now do it again. Okay, hold your arm stiff. You ready? Yeah. He's balanced, right? Can you feel the difference? Not really. You did. You didn't fall over. Well, yeah, I didn't fall over, but it doesn't feel you. Well, because you didn't fall over? Yeah, okay. okay. So, and then one thing you might want to do is if you have some magic device, have them hold the magic device and make them fall over. And then so, oh, I forgot to turn it on. And then you turn it on and it works. The magic device. There was no magic device. It was just... The magic friendship. was really the friends we made along the way. <laughs> like, and lift up your leg. So, I'm going to show you the direction I'm pulling with this uh, tire. So if I pull straight down, he's going to fall over no matter what. Straight down, he falls. Okay. Oh, and also, if you want to push down on the side that he lifts his leg up, he lifts your leg up. If I push on this side and he's falling over, he may not be able to catch himself and he'll fall. Yeah, that's that'd be bad. funny. Now, if I push an angle towards his foot, and watch, I'm going to push this right here towards his foot and he won't fall over. Because the torque is zero about his foot since I'm pushing into his foot. If I push straight down, he falls over. It doesn't matter how, t how strong he is. Oh, pretty strong. I'm gonna try that again. Okay, let's try it again. Yeah. He did that on purpose. So, but this is a great physics trick yeah. for you to do at a party. Okay, so just to be clear here, we have on the left you can see the zero torque situation in which he does not fall over. So torque, we could define the scalar product of torque as R, F, sine theta, where theta is the angle between F and R. So if I draw a vector from the point where his foot hits the ground to the point where the force is contacted, and I push in the direction, then, then there's zero torque because pi is theta is equal to pi, and sine of pi is zero. Now, in the second case on the right, I have the force pulling straight down. Now, theta is not pi. There is a torque. And it doesn't matter how strong he is. He's going to tip over. Because there's, there's no other force to counteract that torque. He's just going to fall over. Okay, and let me show you one other thing. This is a power balance bracelet, if in case you haven't seen them. Some people still wear them. I don't know why. And, and they have this cool, this silly story about how they do something about 60 hertz frequencies from power and stuff like that and it cancels that so I made this crown on the right and as a substitute and I made up a better story about how that doesn't work and this one does work because it actually uses a little radio to to broadcast the opposite of the interference signals um, and it has a little switch you can turn it on I really should add a light too so you could you know it looks like it's on but but using something like that really kind of helps sell the story that this is actually doing something. And if you try this, I, I really, students and people really get surprised that it works. It's a great trick. So it's great physics, it's a great trick. You should try it out. And it's a great example of torque. Talk to you guys later.